Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Adventures of a Jet Setter and as you can tell I've got my camera down now so you can see me in all my beautiful HD glory and my messy nails and all my cat marks. <laughs> as you can tell from the title of this video, I found out my placement. And I'm a bit late getting back to you um, on this because I actually found out a couple of weeks ago but I'm only just getting around to filming this video now. So the place that I will be living and working at is... Nara! Um, I genuinely can't believe it and I'm so looking forward to working in Nara and living in Nara and oh, it's just going to be amazing. <laughs> I feel really lucky because Nara was actually my second choice and uh, my application form. Uh, my first was Tokyo but thinking about it after I applied, I don't think I could cope with the, the busy life of Tokyo and for the experience I wanted to have, Nara is the best choice for me. One thing um, people who want to apply for JET uh, need to be prepared for is that it's actually uh, quite rare for you to get one of the choices on your list. Now I'm not saying it's impossible for you to get one of the choices you put on your list, however when you do apply please bear in mind that there's a chance you probably won't get them and go into it thinking oh I don't really care where I get put in Japan anyway because that's part of the excitement and the experience. You could get put in a rural village which no one's ever heard of, even the people in Japan have never heard of it, but that should be part of the unique experience that JET offers you. And the reason why I really want to send this message out is because if you end up with a placement that you don't want, you can't change it. Like, if you try to change it, Jet will probably be like, boy bye. <laughs> so the reason why I picked Nara is because it's just so rich of history and culture and also because it seems really connected to nature. One of its main attractions is Nara Park, which is famous for having lots of deer live in the area and uh, they like to go into the shrine that is there in that park. And a lot of the people of Japan view these deers as sacred and messages of gods and they even like bow to you and you can bow back and give them a treat and oh, it just oh, touches my heart. <laughs> Another reason is because the Nara Prefecture is located right back in the middle of Japan. Think of it as if you're in the Midlands, uh, it's quite easy for you to get to both, say, Newcastle or London in a way. Well, like four hour journey, but this still is nothing. <laughs> so I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the town that I'll actually be living in, and it's called Tenri. Tenri is actually named after the Tenriko religion, where it originated in Tenri, and it's home to one of the largest churches of the religion. Tenri is also home to one of Japan's oldest roads, Yanobe no Michi. That right. <laughs> Another site it's quite famous for is Tenry University, where it's quite known for having a lot of exchange students also. And one thing that I think makes it quite exciting is that it's surrounded by shrines and mountains, meaning even if you just want to go out for a casual walk, you could stumble upon a shrine, which I think is really cool. <laughs> So yeah, as you can tell, I'm pretty pleased with my placement. I don't know a lot of information yet, um, but I'm hoping to hear back soon from my board of education or my predecessor, so yay! So the next exciting thing to come up is the London orientation, which I'm so excited for. Kind of nervous because you get told a lot of information, but I'm just excited, yeah. <laughs> And if you're a fellow Jet who's also going to be at the London orientation, please let me know because I would love to meet you guys. If you're interested, I'm also part of a Discord group where there's a group of us, mainly uh, British and Scottish uh, people. But if you're interested, please let me know and I'll send you a link. So that's all I have for this video. Please like and comment if you like this video or want to get in touch with me about things. And if you're wanting to see more, please stay subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.